Hi friends, in this video we will uh, create a simple uh, Spring Boot Hello World application with the help of Visual Studio Code. In the last video we have seen that how to set up the Spring Boot uh, tool suit uh, for the VS Code so that way we can create the uh, Visual Spring Boot applications using the VS Code. So for that we have to install the uh, Spring Boot extension pack. So today we will check how to use the VS Studio Code to generate the Spring Boot application. For that, based on the your OS, uh, currently I am using the Mac OS. So option is to you have to use the Command Shift P to open the command palette, and here you can just type the Spring. So it will show the different different options like Spring uh, Initializer, Spring Add Starter, Spring Boot Dashboard, Spring Boot Dashboard Start, and Spring Create Maven Project. So we'll create the simple Gradle project. You just choose that one. You have to select then it will ask then the sp which Spring Boot version you want to create the um, application. So here uh, I'll just select the the stable one Spring uh, 260 snapshot. Which language Java, Kotlin, or Groovy? We'll choose the Java. And here it will ask the package name. So I'll just mention the tech was the demo VS Code. Okay. And then I'll mention VS Code Hello World, which is our just the artifact ID. So in solution, it will ask what kind of a package format you want, which are all. You can relate these options with the uh, start.spring.io if you're more familiar with that. And then it will ask you which Java version. So 11. Now here here it will show the history as well. Last time I used the Spring Web as a starter as a dependency. So you can select any kind of a dependency like let's say spring dev tools then you can select the uh, lombard then you can select the web spring web so these three dependencies i have selected then just press the enter to continue once this is done it will ask you to download generate the project at which location so i'll prefer and go here to generate here in the specified location so it will generate and then once it is successfully generated it will ask you to open the project so this is the way you can generate the very easily project using the VLS, uh, VS code editor or visual studio code editor once this is done you can just cross check the your project structure and the dependencies which you have choose open the build or gradle uh, or if you have choose the maven you can open the maven so it will, if you just check the, it will provide the implementations as a dependency Spring Boot Starter Web, the Lombok, which is the compile only, and Spring Do Dev Tools. Uh, it's an annotation processor, so we have one more additional dependency for the Lombok. And uh, of course, we have the application dot properties and the VS Code movie, Spring Boot application code. So once this is done, you can either choose this option to run the application. Okay, it will import the, all the things or if you're more familiar with the terminal one or the command one. So just open the terminal and fire the command. So in the Gradle case, you can just mention the Gradle W boot run or in Maven case, Maven option. So it will show, it will run the application and it will show the uh, what is the expected output you need so this, this is about the one so it, it, it is just the same structure which you which you will uh, get when you create the project using the um, spring to uh, start dot spring dot io or better you can create using the VS code so VS code you will give the simple things but effective things that's what I will say uh, please uh, try this option create the project and different different starter dependency and let me know that's it for now thank you